21, here's the news burst for a Tuesday morning. Wake up temperatures 44 degrees in Milwaukee, Waukesha at just 42 degrees to start your Tuesday morning. Mostly sunny and a little warmer. High 58 lakefront, 72 degrees inland. That's the Storm Team forecast from Brian Goddard. One congressman calling TSA security theater. This in light of a new report that showed screeners at one airport failing nearly 100% of the time. During a test, screeners missed concealed weapons and explosives 67 out of 70 times. Still looking for the driver of a 1999 Plymouth Breeze who caused a terrible accident in Milwaukee. It was a fatal crash claiming the life of 26-year-old Rio Washington. That was Saturday night at 18th and Atkinson. His wife and one-year-old son were hurt, and again, that suspect still out there running free this morning. Milwaukee Common Council expected to take up the marijuana issue again today. Alderman considering drastically reducing fines for first-time possession. The district attorney's office in Milwaukee County will review a case involving a homeowner who shot a man who had broken into his garage. That was in the city of Milwaukee. A relative told today's TMJ4 the man is a concealed carry holder. Police say the suspect is a convicted felon. Governor Scott Walker speaking at an economic growth summit at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida today. It is hosted by Florida Governor Rick Scott. Don't call it a practice. Packers Organized Team Activity, or OTA, open to fans today at Clark Hinkle Field at 11.30. That's the start time there. And the Brewers try to make it three wins in a row tonight. We beat the Cardinals one to nothing last night. First pitch, 7.15 in St. Louis.